हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज जसवीर यूर मैथ्स टीचर फर्स्टली आई वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू ऑन दिस यूट्यूब चैनल एंड आर टूडेज क्लास इज फॉर क्लास एट्थ स्टूडेंट्स एंड टूडे आर टॉपिक इज रैशनल नंबर एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस दैट वट इज अ रैशनल नंबर एंड वट आर द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ एडिशन फॉर रैशनल नंबर्स so before starting the properties you must know that what is a rational number so any number which can be expressed in the form a over b where a and b are integers and v is not equals to 0 is called a rational number what it means it means any number which we can write in the form a over v what it means it means this is numerator and this is denominator so any number which can be expressed as numerator and denominator is called a integer and v is not equals to 0 what it means it means the value of denominator should never be 0 this is the most important condition for rational number because if the value of the denominator is zero then that is not definable that becomes infinity which is uncountable and that value does not exist so this is the most important part that the value of denominator should never be zero it can be any integer 1 2 3 and so on and the next thing is if we have simple a number if you have a number 3 then we can convert this number into a rational number by putting 1 in the denominator so any integer like 1 2 3 4 5 and so on can be expressed in the form of rational number by putting 1 over that number so the next is properties of addition for rational numbers so there are five properties of addition for rational numbers the first property is known as cluier property the next property is known as commutative property and the third property is associative property the fourth property is additive identity and the last is additive inverse so let us start from the property 1 that is known as cluier property what it means it means the sum of two rational numbers is always a rational number means if you add any two rational numbers the answer will always be in the form of rational number if any cancellation is possible there so i have given example here if you cancel these terms and you get an integer you can put over 1 and you can express as a rational number so i took one example for you and this is 7 by 2 plus 3 by 2 and when you add or subtract two rational numbers the first thing that denominators should be equal and if the denominators are not equal you will take lcm and will make the denominator same but here i have taken exam examples with the same denominators so first is 7 by 2 plus 3 by 2 now you can see students that the denominator is same so simple we can write the denominator once as 2 and we can write upper side the numerators that is 7 and 3 so it becomes 7 plus 3 over 2 now add these two and you will get 10 by 2 now this number can be cancellation the cancellation is possible for this number 10 over 2 it can be cancelled on the table of 2 so on the table of 2 you will get 1 here and 2 fives are 10 so here you get 5 or you can say 5 over 1 that is a rational number so this property holds for rational number that is the sum of two rational numbers is always a rational number and i have shown here with an example also the second property is commutative property it means you can add two rational numbers in any order 
टू रैशनल नंबर कैन बी एडल्ट इन एनी ऑर्डर वट इट मीन्स इट मीन्स इफ यू राइट द फर्स्ट नंबर ऑन द फर्स्ट प्लेस यू कैन चेंज द ऑर्डर ऑफ दैट नंबर यू कैन राइट द फर्स्ट नंबर ऑन सेकेंड प्लेस एंड यू कैन राइट द सेकेंड नंबर ऑन फर्स्ट प्लेस इन बोथ द केसेस योर एंसर विल बी सेम ऑलवेज सो आई हैव रिटर्न वन एग्जाम्पल हियर फॉर यू स्टूडेंट्स द एग्जाम्पल इज वन बाय थ्री प्लस फोर बाय थ्री दिस इज योर लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एंड ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड आई चेंज द ऑर्डर ऑफ द नंबर्स सो दिस इज द सेकेंड नंबर विच आई रिटर्न हेयर ऑन द फर्स्ट प्लेस and first number i have written on the second place and you can see students the denominator is same so simple we can add these numbers so first of all check this left hand side so write the denominator once here and write the numerator which is 1 plus 4 and on the right side write the denominator once and upper side write the numerators so because we have changed the order so 4 will come on first place and 1 will come on second place now if you add these two numbers your answer will be same so on this side on left side your answer is 5 by 3 and on the right side your answer is also 5 by 3 you can see students the answer for both the cases is same and this property is known as commutative property what it means it means the rational numbers can be added in any order we have changed the order and we have checked that the answer is same for both the cases so commutative property holds for rational numbers and our next and third property which is known as associative property it means while adding three or more rational numbers you can make group of any two rational numbers so i have taken one example with the help of this example this thing will be clear to all of you so this property is starting from three rational number this is Three or for this, this is for three or more rational numbers. So I have taken three rational numbers here, different rational numbers, and on the right side also I have written the same numbers. Now we have to make a pair of the rational numbers. We have to make a group of the rational numbers. You can see on the left side I made group of first two rational numbers. and on the right side i can make group of last two rational numbers what do you mean by this pairing this groups it means we have to solve the number which is in group firstly we have to go for those numbers so firstly we will solve up this bracket the denominator is same so upper side you can write simple 2 plus 7 and 4 by 5 is outside the bracket so this value remain same and on the next side on the right side the first fill remain same because this value is not in the bracket and those values which are in the bracket then write these values and put the bracket same until you get one value for this now solve it from this bracket you will get 9 by 5 and the next number we have 4 by 5 and on the right side this number is outside the bracket so write this number firstly then write down the value of the bracket the value of the bracket will become 11 by 5 now we have these four values and if you will solve up the denominators are same so simple i am going to do addition of the numerators so if you add these two your answer will be 13 by 5 and on the right side if you add two numerators your answer will be 13 by 5 you can see students both the sides left hand side and right hand side your answer is same 
it means while adding three and more rational numbers you can make groups of any two rational number you can make group of first two rational number or you can make group of last two rational numbers and your answer for both the cases will be same so associative property also hold for rational numbers so the fourth property is additive identity what it means it means the sum of a rational number and zero is always that rational number it means if you add zero in any rational number your answer will be same of that rational number so we are going to solve this with an example so if i take one rational number 3 by 7 if i add zero in this rational number the value of this rational number will not be changed the value will remain same so it means if you add zero in any rational number your answer will same that rational number so for a rational numbers your additive identity is zero because zero because of zero the value is not changed the value is remain same so the last property student this is additive inverse it means negative of a number it means if we have a number if we have any rational number suppose you have a rational number 3 by 5 so i'm going to write here the rational number 3 by 5 if you add the negative of this rational number in this rational number you add the negative of that number so what it becomes 3 by 5 plus minus 3 by 5 but we have done we took one rational number and then we add the negative of that rational number so plus minus will become minus so here you will get 3 by 5 minus 3 by 5 and the same numbers and the answer is 0 so additive inverse for rational number is negative of a number if you have any rational number 4 by 5 3 by 9 any rational number and at you want to find additive inverse of that rational number the number will remain same but the sign will be changed if you have positive the then the answer will be negative and if you have in the statement if you have minus 3 by 5 then the additive inverse of that number will be 3 by 5 the number will remain same but the sign will be changed so these are the five properties of addition for rational numbers hope you everyone understood this topic thank you and thank you for watching this video do like comment and share this video